had a completely different video planned today but this is literally all I can think about and um, I'm, for reasons you're all about to see I'm about to have to do this video with an ice pack strapped to my head so I guess that's what we're gonna talk about today. <laughs> So while I put this on, let me explain to you why I have to wear it. Um, and also if I'm mumbling a little bit, it will also explain that. Um, I'm Amy, hello. Um, I have a disability called Admobile Spectrum Disorder. Um, I've been making some videos on it because I said that's what I was going to do and you guys were like, yep, do that. So I'm making some more. Um, does that make any sense? Here we are. One of the side effects of this is general joint pain. Your jaw is a joint. That is how we reached the predicament we are in today, which involves me wearing an ice pack strapped to my head. So that's what you can this is what you're gonna get for the rest of the video. So basically, um I have a pretty common condition in my jaw called um TMD or temporal mandibular disorder. Um I just realised I'm gonna have to take this off to, to show you my jaw. I'll explain and then I'll take this off again. So it's basically um where if you grind your teeth or you have like your jaw really tense all the time, um the the joint in your jaw starts to hurt, basically. Um, as far as I can aware, no one is exactly sure exactly why it happens other than like it's caused by grinding your teeth and having loads of tension in your jaw. Um, I do this. It's not going to stay on my head. Maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe we take this off. But basically you have a, a joint right here. You'll be able to feel it when you move your jaw. I don't have a skull to show you. Um, and that is the joint that is currently bothering me. So it is actually, I don't know if you can see, but I move my jaw slightly to the left. I think that's actually what's been causing it recently. Um, but if you have issues in this joint, it causes things like um, you'll be able to hear a popping in your ear. So I can hear a popping in my ear every time I open this joint. It's like a like a echoey popping noise. Um, it causes issues with opening your jaw. So um, I'm not intentionally not opening my jaw here, but you can probably tell that I'm mumbling a little bit um, because it's my instinct right now is to not open my jaw fully. I'm not doing this consciously. And I think looking back on it, there's been quite a few times where I've gone through a, a stage of mumbling and that's probably what it was. Um, but the main issue is pain. <laughs> um, if any of you guys have ever had this, you might have had like a little bit of like tension in your jaw. You'll have gotten like, um, so the muscles run down here and up here, there's two of them, um, and those will have ached. Um, if you've ever grinded your teeth, if you've ever like gone through like a stressful period, like stress can trigger quite a lot, um, then you will know the pain that I'm in. Except sometimes people get it like, I don't want to call it chronic, um, but just a worse case of it. This is something that I've had for years and years and years. I wear a retainer, which I will get for you in a second. Um, I do clean it, but it is a little bit gross because it, I've had it for a while. Um, one second, I'll get it for you. So yeah, it is slightly yellow, but I do like clean it like twice a day. Um, it's just because I've had it for a while. And so I wear that. Uh, I wear it to sleep in to guard my teeth because if I grind my teeth, I was getting little holes in my teeth. I've had that for um, a few years because I was grinding my teeth. I used to get headaches quite a lot, um, but nothing like the past week and a half, um, <laughs> which is why I can't think about anything else, which is why I can't make any other video. So basically the past week and a half, all up here and down here and up here has been like on fire. It feels like someone is like squashing my head um, and this is just a really bad flare up of TMD I don't know what caused it I don't know why it's suddenly gotten worse but it's basically like completely taken off my life Um, I can sort of sleep it takes me a while to fall asleep because it gets worse at night I haven't been able to work Um, I've not been able to like go very far from the house because all of a sudden it'll just get really bad and I just feel like awful and it's not just like because it's here, the pain is quite bad, but it's not like awful. Um, like my knee pain is probably worse. But because it's here, I can't think, and it also makes me like dizzy and like feel sort of sick. And also, like you guys can probably notice, but I get like euphoria in my eye, so my eyes like pull to the center very, very slightly. And now that I've pointed out, you're not gonna be able to think about anything else because <laughs> um, most people don't notice it till I point it out. 
but um, it's been getting worse, which is my eyes have been hurting, and I'm guessing it's because all of the muscles around here are like messed up, so the muscles in my eyes are also getting a bit messed up. Um, so basically, it's been a time. Um, so that's what's going on. So I'm going to talk about the things that I've been doing to help in case you guys have experienced this, um, and also because I can't do any other video today. <laughs> so the first thing I would say that if you're experiencing this and you haven't been to a dentist, go to a dentist. It might be that there's something in your mouth causing it and um, they will also tell you like some jaw exercises um, and th like things like that to do. They can refer you to a proper hospital where they can properly assess it if necessary, um, which is what I'm waiting for at the moment. The first thing that I do um, when I started feeling this was, I just went to sleep to be honest. Um, so most people will either have it where it's worse when they wake up in the morning or worse when they go to bed at night, work out which one of these it is. And um, for me, it is gets worse throughout the day, which is, I think, the less common type. Um, so if it gets really bad, I just go to sleep. I just have a nap. And then when I wake up, it's usually a little bit better. Um, this isn't great for, like, my productivity. Um, but here we are. The second one is... Second port of call is one of these things. So this is a microwave beanie thing. Um, I put it on my head. Um, because it helps relax these muscles a little bit, so that can help. Um, I was also reading a lot about how neck pain can make it worse, so if your posture is really bad. Um, obviously it can put like more pressure on your jaw, because like, apparently your posture being bad just ruins everything. So having it on your back to relax the muscles in your back can also help. Which is why I currently haven't started, though it is going cold now. Um, the next thing I would do, recommend doing, is massages. So um, I will link the video that I got this from, but I basically found this fantastic video of these two physiotherapists talking you through some um, massages. Um, see if I can remember them. So it involves like pushing. So if you find you'll be able to feel the muscle, especially if it's bothering you, you'll be able to feel it and just like rubbing it in one direction, both ways. On both sides, um, what were the other ones? Um, to open your jaw slightly and go across, all like that. To rub out the muscles in your jaw there, and also pretty much the same, but this muscle here, because there's two, there's one here, and one here. So up and down, and then across, and um, doing it with your jaw open and your jaw closed. This helps a lot um, for immediate relief. It does not fix the problem. It will help for about half an hour, at least in my case. Um, and even then it doesn't completely take it away. There is some more permanent physio exercises that you can do. Um, so the, how I discovered that I opened my jaw slightly to the left and it's probably the thing that I need to fix is um, the exercise that I was giving where you put your hands on your temples, curl your tongue to the back of your mouth and then open and close your jaw. So you can see that I'm doing this slightly to the left. Uh, my face is all like skewed slightly to the left again now that I've said this you're not going to be able to unsee it but um, if you if you watch my facial expressions, you'll see that this side of my face is a lot more expressive. I don't know why it always has been. See, when I raise my eyebrows, this one goes up higher than the other one. Um, I don't I don't know why it always has been this way. So I also open my mouth slightly to the left. So the idea of this is that you um, you do it in front of a mirror and you straighten your teeth out and then you like continue to do this and train your body to open straight. Um, if that is what's causing your pain. So if I don't think about it, my jaw goes like this. But if I think about it, it's gonna go like this. That's really difficult for me. <laughs> um, also, you're seeing a lot of my yellow teeth today, sorry. Um, a couple of the exercises that they gave me was pushing against your jaw, so um, if you very gently balance out the pressure, so you're pushing down as you're pushing up with your hand, and then also on both sides as well. So this um, exercise builds up the muscles, but I actually find that I get like immediate relief from this. I don't know if it's because I'm like slotting the joint back into place, because I don't know if subluxation is what's causing this. So, oh yeah, and the other exercise was to just open and close your jaw, but just sort of take the weight with your hand. So just, and just take the weight with your hand and do that a couple of times. Um, again, definitely go see a dentist about this. These are just my tips for like immediate relief if you need it like now, because I know the feeling. Um, okay, so let's talk about this thing. I got this thing on Amazon. There was loads of different types. I only have this one so I can't compare it, but basically you get these these things um, and you either put them in the freezer or you put them in the microwave. You can do either with them. I prefer them in the freezer. Um, these ones get colder than they do get hot, if that makes sense. So when they get hot, they don't stay hot. When they get cold, 
they stay cold so I've been putting them in the freezer um, and then you put them into one of these things and then as I did before you like strap it to your head and the ice will sit against your jaw if you don't have one of these or you want relief like right now get an ice pack or something hot and use a scarf to tie it to your head which is what I was doing the, earlier in the week um, which always looks great I mean this is a really attractive video you see me moving on my jaw and like strapping stuff to my head but here we are so um I was told by a doctor to take ibuprofen for this I found it did absolutely nothing I was also using ibuprofen gel did absolutely nothing um I was also given some codeine by the dentist I've never taken codeine before it didn't do anything for me <laughs> it worked slightly better when I took it with paracetamol um but it made me ill and it didn't really take the pain away the only times where it sort of worked was when like it made me really like spaced out everything was a bit wibbly um which meant that I sort of forgot that it hurt <laughs> um but it still did like when I thought oh is this working like it wasn't it still hurt um I know codeine works for some people, it appears that it doesn't work for me, it also made me ill. Um, so at the moment my current strategy is um, trying to focus on posture because I think that's the only thing I can change which is why I have this on. Um, I'm not sitting up straight right now because of where the camera is but um, if I show you my current work setup, I have my laptop raised which I don't normally do because I don't really like it um, and I'm using a rest here and a mouse which in theory should mean that I'm sitting up straighter to do work which again in theory it should mean that my posture is better which hopefully if that's what's causing um, the issues then that should fix that in theory um, I haven't found one thing that's worked completely yet I'm just waiting to go to the hospital to see if they can fix anything um, I'm not sure what they can do I know they can give me a different type of mouth guard um, but I don't think that's going to help because that one hasn't. All it's done is protect my teeth. It hasn't like taken the pain away. Um, and there's certain things that they can do like um, certain injections that they can give you. And um, there's also like more radical solutions like um, certain operations that they can go in and and like see what the issue is and try and fix it. Or like certain like things like that that they can do. Um, which I'm hoping I won't need. But um, the current main, main concern is that when my knee started to hurt it came on like all of a sudden like they've always been saving my jaw, always been a little bit dodgy and then all of a sudden like a year ago it got like way worse um, and they are still bad and nothing has helped. I've done physio, taken like, like taken painkillers, like um, put ice on them, put ibuprofen gel on them, blah 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 and nothing has completely taken it away. So my current concern is that that is going to be the same story for my jaw, that it's always been bad and then all of a sudden it flies up and then it just stays flared up um, which my knees is annoying um, means that I have to slow down when I'm walking um, like they'll give way sometimes um, and it is painful but this has like I mean I haven't been able to work <laughs> I've basically had to take like the last like week off uni and I'm currently just trying to catch up on things um, it's one o'clock and it's already getting to the point where I'm thinking about stopping working for the day because the pain is getting bad again um which is annoying because i'm doing a full-time degree um and it's not as if i could just get up earlier because it's like from when i get out of bed it starts to get worse so help <laughs> if anyone has any tips then let me know down in the comments if anything that i have said has helped you also let me know because there may be my past it's getting on to two weeks now my past two weeks will have been worth it send fast referral to the dentist vibes um to the dental hospital vibes i've already seen the dentist i just realized there's one more thing that i sort of half showed you but didn't explain that the dentist told me to do um and it's called spot therapy and the idea is that you put stickers on things um that you look at often and every time you see the sticker you remind yourself to do a thing it's like a way to break habits um and the habit i'm trying to break is tensing my jaw um so every time i see one of these stickers i'm supposed to relax my jaw um it's been working a little bit um and i've put them around the house and i've told my housemates to like move them so that i still pay attention to them so that's what this is if you saw this on my laptop saying stop it it means like stop tensing your jaw and they also say different things there's one of them right here hello that says this one says chill um, and they roll around the house saying things like that. Um, they work to an extent, um, but I think they would work better before 
it gets bad because as soon as it's gotten bad your muscles are like already like kind of wrong which means I can't really completely relax them because they're so like tense and like knotted um that they won't ever fully relax like even if I consciously go okay I'm gonna relax them now it doesn't actually change it and it also actually temporarily makes the pain worse because I'm like I don't know how to describe it like relaxing the muscle from its position that it's so used to being in um so yeah I've been doing that as well on recommendation of the dentist and that's been semi working same with all these things like one or two of them haven't worked at all but most of them have worked like a little bit but like not enough <laughs> if anyone has any request or questions then leave it down in the comments new videos every wednesday along subscribe and all that jazz and um yeah wish me luck i'm gonna go put this in the microwave again <laughs>